Hi, everyone. My name is Alex Junker. I'm a senior consultant with Agile out of Dallas. Uh, like Frank mentioned, we'll be going through some of the specific use cases uh, that we've started discussing and then show you them in live action. So here, I'll pull up the familiar SailPoint Identity IQ interface. Uh, many of your user populations are used to using this, and it will be quite familiar to them. Uh, we'll get started by inviting a new user identity. Uh, one thing I want to preface is that we'll be working with two different tenants today. Uh, our core home tenant is what we call our uh, Azure and SailPoint Healthcare uh, demo tenant, and we have that here. And then as well, we'll be inviting users from our small partner de uh, demo tenant. So I'll open my quick link here under Manage Identity and choose Create External Identity Invitation. We'll go ahead and fill out uh, the necessary information. Uh, we'll be inviting one of our partners, Norma, and uh, her email you'll see here is with uh, the small partner group. We'll go ahead and assign her the correct manager. Uh, and then as well, because we'll be demoing how we can automatically provision fine-grained access to tools like uh, EHR, we'll go ahead and give her a job code and a location. We'll give her job code seven and hospital two. Uh, this means that she'll be a, a, pharmacy, uh, a pharmacy type at hospital two. We'll click next. Go ahead and confirm our registration. And that invitation will be sent off. So now we can bring up an example of what that looks like to receive the invitation. We will log in with one of our users from our small partner demo. And then be presented here uh, with their normal uh, office portal. We'll go ahead and log into their email. Uh, now these email invitations that are sent out uh, can be fully uh, automated with the base template from uh, Microsoft, or also be uh, allowed to customize the template and use your own with the accept invitation link going directly to your app. So here we'll click accept invitation and we'll be forwarded on to authorize the permissions that we'll be validating by accepting this invitation into the B2B org. Uh, you'll see here that there's some basic information that the, te the tenant that we're joining will be receiving and we can review that and then accept it. Directly after the invitation, uh, Microsoft will actually force directly into our app. So this is our Agile MedNet app, uh, sp supposed to be representative of uh, an EHR app or, a, or an application you might find uh, in your healthcare system. And we can now actually even sign in uh, with the Microsoft account we just have. And now we'll see we're fully signed in. And we actually see that Kane here uh, was given a master file of pharmacy. Uh, with the template and a, and a clinical sub-template. So we can really show, you know, not our, only are we going to be able to provide uh, account access, but we can also uh, provision that fine-grained access uh, that you often find in your organization. We can actually jump right back over uh, to our SailPoint Identity IQ instance and kind of understand that, you know, now that we have these external identities in our system, we need to make sure that we are managing them and certifying them. So I can pull up an, an example certification that we have running. Uh, and here's our external identity certification that we kicked off today. So I'll open it up as uh, one of the managers. And, you know, we can review all of the access and accounts by our external users. So we see Kane. Yeah, we, just, uh, we just had Kane. We wanted to prove that. Uh, we know Becky is still working, so we'll prove that. Uh, but, you know, Kristen, we want to go ahead and revoke that account. Uh, so we'll go ahead and save that and send that revoke. And we'll go ahead and sign off on our decisions. So now what's happening in the background is our tool will actually be going ahead and deprovisioning uh, that access. So we can go ahead and head back uh, to our application and show what that might look like. We're back here uh, with Kane again in our, in our Agile application, but we'll go ahead and sign out and then go ahead and sign in as a different user. Oh, let me uh, relaunch a different window. We can now sign in with a different account. We will sign in with one of the uh, users that we actually just revoked. So we'll choose Mira here. Enter her password. We can now see that uh, this user account was actually removed uh, from our identity provider being the Azure and SailPoint Healthcare demo. So no longer can this small partner log in to uh, this application. Uh, whether it's applications or data stores, we want to make sure that our external partners only have access to specifically what they need. And so why it's extremely important to be continuously certifying users and making sure they have the correct access. 
And one last piece we'd love to show today is a bit about how we can help manage that fine grain access. Uh, we know that many of our users and many of our clients had really struggled with maintaining uh, how fine grain access was provisioned in their organization, and hence we built the healthcare access matrix. You'll see here that we built a tool to help manage these pieces. Many of our clients were managing this fine grain access across spreadsheets, across tools, with one, no one central location to really manage this. We built this Cellpoint plugin uh, to be able to leverage the great piece parts of cell point identity governance and extend it to some of the specific use cases we saw in the healthcare space. Here you can see we have uh, location and job code directives that actually match up directly with master files, templates IDs, and sub-templates. Uh, these are all directly manageable in the tool, and we can even ask the tool to auto-provision it. We can go ahead and look through our job codes and see here's some of our example uh, student nurse job codes, which we can auto-provision, or perhaps some of our radiology, and, and they are specific to locations and the templates and sub-templates that they will receive. And that's how we can really help manage and provision directly that fine-grained access. So that's uh, our demo for today. Just uh, to recap kind of what we saw uh, here today, we took a look at our user invitation process, which is directly integrated into Identity IQ and then leverages the Microsoft Graph APIs to invite our end users. How a user might accept that external invitation uh, from their organization and become directly productive in your application, uh, no longer having to wait uh, weeks and months to gain their access, but really that same day almost instantly. And then as well, how we actually provision some of those uh, access rights automatically, and specifically that fine grain access that might be dependent on things like job code or location where they're working. And lastly, we showed some of that best-in-class access government uh, access governance that Cellpoint can provide. Uh, because we do understand that external identities are a risk in our organizations, we want to make sure that we're very strong uh, in that regard. And then finally, how we can use that tool to provision and deprovision our users from our organization. Uh, we want to ensure that there's no stale access and that uh, when organizations remove users, that those are removed from our tenants as well.